Hello, SVG On Demand family. It's your girl, Sharika, coming to you again for a quick tutorial. And today we will be creating our own invitations. Okay, so we might as well jump right in here with our sleepover New Year's Eve ticket invitation and we're going to be creating this using our silhouette cameo software all right so let's get started here we are we are in our silhouette cameo software and to get started what we're going to do is we're going to work with some when we get ready to print we're going to print on some four by six hp picture paper, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and jump right in here and start with our settings. We're gonna go ahead and change our settings over to the four by six, okay? All right, and this is more what our workspace looks like. That would be the full four by six picture but we're only going to use a portion of this but we're going to go ahead and get started designing before you know what actually let's go the landscape the way where we can have the six inches across way the ticket will be six inches across okay all we're going to do is start with drawing some shapes and we're going to start with this one rectangle here and we're gonna say that that's basically the size of our ticket, okay? So we have this piece here, and we're just gonna work in wheel design and everything and resize it once we get ready, okay? I'm going to open up my color panels and just move them over so we can keep them open. There we go. All righty. I'm going to start off by changing my rectangle to black. Here. I'm going to head over to Google. And I'm going to search a um, a ticket. I'm going to hit images. I like this one. I'm just going to right click, copy image, bring it back over here, right click and paste. And now I have it here. Just going to bring it down a little bit. Okay. Open up my trace feature, select area to trace. I'm going to get rid of this and now I have this here. I'm actually going to release the compound path here and I'm going to take out the text here. Bring this back. Well, I might want to take this piece out also. Make compound path. And now I have this solid piece here. So let's say if I want to change it to gold. All right. One more time, I'm going to release this. I want to grab my stars by their cell. Make compound path to make one piece. Let's just see here. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. That's what I'm doing. Bring that cover back. I want this centerpiece to be white or a different color that you would like. So if I wanted these two pieces to give me two different colors, I can have it like this instead. And now just group it together. I'm gonna take my stars, bring them back in. And do so. I, oops, grab both pieces. There we go. Now I'm going to add my own text. Hmm, what color, what color? Let's see. I need to move this over here where we can look at it. I think I want my outline piece to be white. And I want my center piece All right, so we got it here. Now I got it ungrouped. We have this piece here I turned gold and I made the outline white. Here's my admit one that I want to put in the inside of my ticket. I'm going to change it up white also. Right up here at the top, you can bring to front. And now we can see it on top. We're going to go over here and change our font. I can also hold this piece in the brown piece to center it. And I know it's correctly in the center. And I like it. Here's my little ticket. I'm going to group it together. I have one piece here. Oh, you know what? Instead of that brown, oops. That is not what I meant to do. I'm going to ungroup. One more time, this brown piece here, I'm going to use one of my pattern fields that I already have saved to my computer. Ooh, I like that. I don't think I'm going to go with the gold glitter look. And now I'm going to group it together and be able to bring it up here to my ticket. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my transform panel to flip it. There we go. Let's see, I was liking that gold field that we had there. Let's see if we put that there. That looks pretty nice, guys. But if I go with so much background, we're gonna have a problem with seeing our wordage. So I'm gonna just go back to our black for now. 
and keep on going. Gonna start some text again. Let me swim out. Here we go. Text came through pretty big. We want it all on one line. Resize here. Now zoom back in where we can get nice and close. Shortcut key, hold down Alt on your text and it will duplicate for you. Or you can right click and duplicate to duplicate just to start another text. You're invited to Charlie. Hey guys. I'm just duplicating and writing out where I want my ticket to stay. And I'm just going to keep on designing as we go along. All right, now we just need to find a nice thick font that I might like. Let's go with the infamous impact. This a little bit bigger. We're going to go once again to our pattern fill and go get that same gold glitter. Well, Right here. And I'm just grouping them all together, make it easier to move. Okay, we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. All right, hold on, let's ungroup that one more time. 
we, we make our, as it says, the, oops. I'm going to clean this over a little bit more. We're going to use our other space on the right hand side to put the party details. So that's why we're making sure we're leaving some space on that right hand side. All right, now once again, oops, I don't want to grab my black piece yet. And I'm just grouping them together where I can move them easily if I need to. All right, family, you know what? I want to go back over to Google one more time. And I'm going to look up, hey, oops. I want to find a star background. Let's see what we got here. I like this right here. Let's see. This will work also. We just want the shape of the stars. We're going to use our trace feature. Bring up our threshold to turn it nice and yellow. We're going to hit trace. Get rid of that image. And we have this piece here. Let's see if we put our gold in it. Clean that back. I'll select my text and bring it to the front where that star is in over the top of it. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and start another text and put my information in on the other side. Let's bring this size down so we can see.
keep doing it. <laughs> bring it back, bring it back. Y'all follow me, right? Y'all can do this, it's simple. Let's see, what else tech do we need on here? Oh, we need the date. It's like a center. I like this text. I'm actually going to bring my lines a little bit closer. I'm going to take this first one here and maybe change the font on it. I like that. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm going to also use the color that I use for New Year's for that to just give it a little color. Duplicate it here, resize it down, go here. And we can use the same thing again. Same. Put your address and everything in. And our RSVP, we'll go next. I can do it again, duplicate it, and use the same color scheme to be able to put in my next part. Once it's done, resize it. There's that. And we can go here. For the RSVP, I think I want to change the front. All I want to do is double tap. Yeah. 
Resize once again. Ha ha ha. And there is my invitation. Can grab it all together. Group it together. Zoom out a little bit for you. Don't forget we're working with a uh, picture paper four by six going the landscape way. All I would do is line them up, depending on how long you wanted them. If you want them the full six inches across, we would just go all the way out to the six inches. Just like so. Should be able to get two. On one page. Yeah. And each of your four by six paper would give you two invitations. And I would just send them to printer and use my paper cutter and cut them out. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Make sure to subscribe, comment, show us some love if you enjoyed this. Check out our SVGU Masterclass subscription group where you get weekly tutorials and live videos like this. Talk to you later.